All right. What we're going to do in this really quick video is work through the first part of your math. I've got two videos that are going to walk you through the math in the lab. This is the first of the two. When you do activity one in the lab, what you're doing is you're taking some cold water and some hot water. You're hitting start on a stopwatch, pouring them together, and recording the temperature of the water mixture every two minutes. Make sure, of course, that you've recorded your initial temperature of your cold water and your initial temperature of your hot water before you mix them together. What I have is I have some sample data. Your time, minute one of your mixture. So we're going to take this data from my little pretend lab here where I've mixed my hot and cold water together and I'm going to paste them into Excel. So what you'll see is you'll see that you need a graph. You need to know what the temperature was at time zero and you're going to do that by plotting a graph. So I'm going to plot a graph and I'm going to highlight this area. I'm going to go to insert. And once again, I want to do insert XY scatter, right? XY scatter. So I plot an XY scatter and now I need to fix some things to fix my temperature. It's bugging me. Uh, whoops, actually that's, not even the right place that goes over here, doesn't it? I'm just going to delete that. You know what? That's supposed to be the chart title. So we'll put that over here. We'll go temperature versus time for a mixture of water. one for my chart title there. You can name it something different, but I want it something so that I can tell what it is, please. All right. Then I do need to label those axes. So I'm going to come over here. I'm used to the old school where you click the chart title, add chart element, axis title, primary horizontal, axis title, primary vertical, Come over here for my vertical. And in. And I really don't know how to do exponents in Excel, so I'm not going to be learning today. And my axis titled, have my data plotted. Now I need my line of best fit. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click my line, click my points. Then I want to add trend line. To pop up all these options. I want a linear trend line. I want to display the equation on the chart. Do not set the intercept. Let the computer set the intercept. The whole reason you're doing this is to get that intercept. So I've done that. I've added my trend line. And I'm hoping you can see the equation it gave me on the chart there. Blow it up as big as I can, both my chart. So I've got my chart here. I should go control, I should go copy. And I believe I asked, I don't ask for it in the lab report. Well, I'm going to put it in my lab report anyway, even though you don't need to. Whoops, that made a mess of things. But at any rate, I put it in my lab report. What I really need is the intercept, though. I'm going to go back to Excel um, and see my intercept. I'm going to blow this up again. Let's make that 40. There we go. 49 degrees Celsius appears to be my intercept, specifically 49.06. Let's check our sig figs. So it looks like 49.06. But our computer gave us, 
we can only do to the tenth place there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that little trick where I carry myself. Uh, you see me do it in lecture all the time where I carry that insignificant digit forward. So I've got an intercept of 49.1, 49.06. And that's the final, and that's the temperature the second my hot and cold water were mixed together. I need to take this intercept and I need to move it. Moving right along, do, 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 fun and fancy free, moving right along, do, 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 do. I move it to here where it says temperature at time zero from graph T zero. Now I'm going to do some math with it. And to see the math I actually do with it, that's going to be easier for me to explain and show you guys by hand. So I invite you to join me for the next exciting adventures of what the how the heck do we do the math in this lab? That's it. Beep.